Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with this link to view a single post. Now let's add another link here for edit the post. And let's open the web store. I'm going to save the post view as a post edit. Okay. And uh, let's open the post. Let's open first the index inside the routes, the, the router to create a new to register a new route so let's copy this and paste down there and say change the path uh, yeah we have the slug so let's use the slug instead of the id okay and let's say edit and also let's use the slug in here uh, we need to change something here so let's change this to be post edit okay and also this one to be post uh, edit the component we created meta the same props the same i think we are good here now let's open the post index because we need to change here the link for this one post view instead of the id we need to add the slug not the id and also post slack here also the back end when we show we need to say dollar sign slug and then find the post by slack so where slack first or fail and then return uh, yeah we need to save also i think we are good now first let's check if everything works if i click and we have 404 let me see why. So we added the post view slug on the post view now. Yeah, we work with ID. So also here, we have to say route params, watch what route params slug. And here, say slug get slug also here i just say slack which is a string and now we have an underline here because yeah let's say string and pass the slack now we are good also here we need to send my request with the slack and let's save and let's see if everything works correctly yeah now we have okay let's add a link here so on the post edit i'm going to copy and paste this let's zoom it a little bit let's change the name to be post edit the params is okay i'm going to choose another icon for the edit so here we can choose the pencil square icon and use that icon in here so pencil square and we can go back and see yeah now we have the eye and the uh, pencil square let's change the color here to be maybe uh, green and now we have green here if i click we have page not found so on, yeah we need to work with the post edit and let's start and work i'm going to open the post view and just copy what we have here and paste we go to post if i click now yeah we have the same thing but here we don't need to show the details we need to add the form and update the post and but as you can see we have also here a get post duplicated in the post index and post edit and post view so it's a good idea to create the store but i'm going to create in the next video so for now let's just work with uh, this for the form i'm going to add let's open the post create and copy the form here and 
on the post edit. Now instead of displaying this, I'm going to paste that in and let's and put this in the section. And the same thing I'm going to do in here as well. We need to put this in a section. And yeah, we have, let's also say, update here. Update this one. Uh, yeah, we need now the values on the title and the body. So here I'm going to say Boolean value and here value post body which if I come here and refresh, it's not updating. Let's click, yeah, as you can see. Uh, let's go here and I'm going to render this only V if we have a post. We are to work later with that, but for now let's remove and come here, yeah. Got post, let's select this one. X, okay. Audit, okay. Good. Now, here instead of create post, we are going to call the update. Post, okay. Update post, so let's create that update post. Update post, and here, let's go to Post create. I'm going to copy this shrine cut and paste it. I'm going to say Axios instance put await and also await here. We put here the payload, which is a type of but not. Uh, if I just say console log, so let's remove everything here with the cut and just log to the console. The payload. Okay. Let's see on the browser. Inspect the element. Go to the console and I'm going to zoom the console here. We not like this, but like this, if I say create, we have only the title and the body. Okay, what I wanted is also, for example, so let paste that code. If we have on the payload the Slack, because we need to send a put request, the slash dashboard slash post slash and yeah, we need to use backticks here. So let's use backticks. And then let's add here the Slack. And we'd say post dot value dot Slack. And as we can see, immediately the ID put the question mark because this may be null. We need to make sure that this is going to run only if the post exists. So we'll check if we have a post value. In that case, we will just try and catch. And here also we need the node, as you can see, which is a form kit kit node and uh, let's see value slug post payload I think we are okay let's open the backend on the update here we are to accept the slug and just copy this one and paste it here. And then we can say data request validated. 
we can validate the title and also the body okay then let's say post update the data and i'm going to return a new post resource passing the post which i think we are okay now let's go and see here i'm going to go to post let's start with this one just leave it this one say up and yeah it's updating also i want to update the slack so let's do the same thing when we create i'm going to say data slack like this let's save let's go back let's edit again this update and now we have the title and the slack updated let's check also this one let's say up and i'm going to change that uh not the backend on the form kit not create but update okay come here if we click now we have update so update here update this also let's check for the body and without three dots and we have three dots okay if i remove everything say update we have the body field is required very good i think this is what i wanted to show you in this video when we add something here and click update we react back and that is updated we can see we can add something update and yeah okay friends uh, now if you like such a video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next video all the best thank you very much